When it arrived in 2010, the Volkswagen Amarok shook up the commercial ute sector. With its combination of European design and no-nonsense dependability, the Amarok proved you didn't need to sacrifice comfort in your everyday workhorse. Well, now the wolf is back, and 2023 signifies the beginning of a whole new era for the ever-popular Amarok. Designed in Germany but developed with the integral assistance of a dedicated Antipodean engineering team, the Amarok, then and now, has been built with Kiwi conditions in mind. Four of the top six selling vehicles in New Zealand in the Amarok's year of launch were utes, and they've only become ever more popular since. The Amarok itself developed a keen Kiwi following immediately, with the renowned V6 option proving especially popular. A V6 option within the range was mandatory for this second generation Amarok, as was a 3.5 tonne braked tow rating. Other must-haves include rear disc brakes, the ability to fit a Euro pallet between the wheel arches and the rear load bed, and of course retaining that premium Volkswagen feel. And it's inside the new Amarok where things have been really modernised to meet the market. Front and centre is this fantastic 12-inch touchscreen, which is the gateway to all the comfort, convenience and infotainment information you need. As you'd expect, the new Amarok is an exceptionally comfy vehicle, despite its utilitarian mandate. The new Amarok is around 10cm longer and features a 17cm longer wheelbase than its predecessor. This translates to more room inside the cabin, both up front and in the rear. Here in the style grade, these Art Velour seats are exceptionally supportive. The front two seats are also heated, and the driver's seat features 10-way electronic adjustability. There are four grades of Amarok available in the Kiwi market, but across the board, the level of comfort, convenience, and safety specification is really impressive. Here in the mid-range style grade, for example, you still get all the bells and whistles you'd expect from Volkswagen's premium ute. And now with torque increased to 500 newton meters, as well as a style bar and tow bar as standard, the sticker price makes it a compelling option. Beyond the premium level interior trim options, Volkswagen has designed the Amarok to be thoroughly fit for purpose. In addition to its impressive towing ability, the Amarok also boasts a wading depth increase of up to 800 mils, as well as improved approach and departure angles to help drivers tackle the tough stuff. The thoroughly redesigned new looks the part too, with distinctive headlight and taillight designs, squared off wheel arches, and a wide, tough truck stance. With that all-important towing capability in mind, Volkswagen have introduced a new piece of technology in the new Amarok, designed to make towing safer and easier. There's a new adaptive blind spot monitoring system on board which will register vehicles in your blind spot irrespective of the size of the trailer you're towing. You simply enter the size of the trailer before you set off, whether it's a compact garden, single axle, a race car trailer or a mini digger on a tandem, and the system adjusts its view behind you accordingly. Every 5 star NCAP rated Amarok really delivers when it comes to providing a sure-footed and safe vehicle for any environment, whether on-road or off. Lane Keep Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control, and Volkswagen's excellent IQ Light Matrix LED lights with integrated daytime running lights are all standard on the style grade. Off-road, a mechanical locking rear differential, and low range are standard as well. Irrespective of its state of dress, the 2023 Amarok is designed to go the distance in the sorts of environments Kiwis love to explore. Over a decade ago, the Volkswagen Amarok added a premium overlay to the burgeoning ute market in New Zealand and took the country by storm. Now, with an impressive suite of upgrades, modern styling and a compelling value for money proposition, the latest generation Amarok range distills premium into practical like only Volkswagen knows how. Volkswagen.